Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph. Lafayette comes into the Princeton game one and one, a win away against Central Connecticut. They come home and they just fall short against Delaware, a Delaware team that kind of wore them down in the end. But this is a chance for Lafayette to use what I call all of their athletes this week against Princeton. Princeton is a team that I call an up-tempo team, and they are probably one of the fastest teams you're going to see. They run up to 80 plays a game. In their sense, they're trying to actually get 90 plays a game. Last year, they ran 48 plays in the first half alone and put up 23 points against the Leopards, kind of burying them beliefs an avalanche of points. Also, they're going to use a two-quarterback system. So last year, Chad Kniff, a terrific quarterback, came in with his first start against, uh, against the Leopards, did a fantastic job. What the Leopards, I think, are going to have to do is try to mix it up with a four-man rush and a three-man rush. Here showing four guys up front. This is the weakness right now of the Princeton offense. The offensive line is new, a lot of new guys. So the question is, is Art Link going to be able to bring four guys? Is he going to want to do that and drop seven into coverage? Or can he switch it up and possibly go with a three-man rush, which maybe takes a little bit of pressure off that offensive line, but allows him to change some coverages, roll some three deeps, four under three deep, possibly some five under two deep, to put a little bit more pressure in the secondary with these guys. So Lafayette's athletes in the secondary, I think are going to match up well with the wide receiver. So the weakness of the Princeton offense is going to be their offensive line. So the question is, do we go with a three man rush and maybe bring some pressures differently from different angles to mess up some uh, offensive blocking schemes? Or do we actually put down four guys up front and guys like Bo Bosch and Colin Alvershard to bring a little heat on a quarterback that may struggle with the young offensive line. This week, Princeton.